Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. My name's Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about The Woman. This movie was released in 2011, and it is based off the Jack Ketchum novel of the same name, I'm presuming. I didn't actually check on that. But it is adapted by Lucky McKee and Jack Ketchum, directed by Lucky McKee. Uh, the movie is about a domineering husband that finds a woman who he presumes is feral and you could kind of make the same assumption based just on how she's living. He forces his submissive wife, his two daughters, and his very sadistic seeming son to help him civilize her. All of course against her will as she is chained up inside of his shed. All while this is going on, his daughter, whom we find out is in the early stages of pregnancy becomes more and more withdrawn. The son, watching his father interact with this woman and then not to give any spoilers, but some other aspects of his life, does become more and more depraved and apt to follow his father's bad example. There are definitely some interesting developments and twists as the story does go on. And it is true to say that the ending of this story may not give the audience the warm and fuzzy ending that they're hoping for and may even feel entitled to based on how really hard the movie is to watch as it goes. So that being said, my likes, the woman that, the actress that played the woman, who is Pollyanna McIntosh, whom I recognized from The Walking Dead as the trash lady that we so affectionately call her in my house, never really says more than maybe one to three words, if that, but she is really, really good at emoting with just her body language and facial expressions. You do get so much from her character based on this alone. I feel like the effects were really realistic. I thought they did a great job with that. I'm always kind of the person to nitpick that. And they did do a good job. And I also really liked about this movie that it did evoke really raw emotion for you. You felt so much for certain characters, but based on how the movie played out, it did change your feelings quite a bit or at least it did for me. So dislikes, I was unaware that this is a kind of a sequel to a movie called The Offspring, which does focus on, you know, the woman's origins, where she came from, what she belongs to, let's say. And I didn't find this out until after watching the movie and a few friends kind of pointed it out to me, hey, you know, it's based off this. When I went on, I think Wikipedia, it, it's, it did reference that it is a sequel to The Offspring and kind of gave like a little blurb about her. Another dislike, um, early on in the movie, it showed the woman taming a wolf and it seemed like it took about 30 seconds. And to me, that was kind of unrealistic. Like no matter how hardcore of a feral woman you are, I feel like it might take just a tiny bit longer for that to work. But who knows? I'm, I'm not a feral woman. I mean, not all the way. So I felt like this was a solid movie. It did have good acting, good story, good effects. I'm going to give it a four out of five. I did really enjoy it. I was able to stream this on Shudder. I know at some point it was available on Netflix. I don't believe right now it is, but you could probably find it streaming through Prime. Obviously, you could probably order a physical copy through Prime. So, if you have seen this movie, let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you feel the same way I felt? Have you seen Offspring? Do you recommend it? If you've read the novel, how closely does it follow? Because I know sometimes that's definitely, you know, a hard line for people. They either love the movie or hate the movie based on how they felt it represented the novel. So if you did like the video, please leave me a like, leave a comment, hit the bell for more notifications of all the content that I upload. Please subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so at Reanimator, and you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. 
and go watch the woman.